I'm Grace, and my poem is, I let my sister cut my hair. I had to get a haircut. It was looking much too long. I let my sister cut it. I mean, what could she do wrong? She clipped some bald spots here and there. She whacked the sides a little, and then shaved a three-inch stripe directly down the middle. She chopped some sections super short, left others long and wide, then shaved one eyebrow off before. She looked at me and smiled. I don't think that I'll let her give me haircuts anymore. Or maybe I'll just wait at least until she's four. Hello, my name is Marco, and my poem is that when the teacher isn't looking. When the teacher isn't looking, we never scream or shout, never drop our books and try to freak her out. No one throws a pencil at the ceiling of glass. No one tries to hit the fire alarm and break the glass. We don't cough in un unison. unison and loudly clear our throats. No one sh shooting paper wads or passing little notes. She must think we're so polite and never make a peep. Really though, it just because we are all fast right to sleep. <laughs> I'm Jackson and I'm reading a po poem called, I made a meme this morning. I posted it online. I asked my mom's permission. She said it, that it was fine. Then people started sharing it, it, sharing it. The next thing that I knew, my meme had spread around the world. I grew and grew and grew. By lunch, my meme went viral. It, it had a billion views. By dinner time, the, the TV had it on. The evening news, I earned a penny, maybe two, from every single share. And by the time I went to bed, I was a millionaire. I thought of making one more meme that might go even higher, but now I'm nearly nine years old. I think I'm just going to retire. I'm a star. I have a cat, my cat is flat, he sleeps between the back and mat. He slides around under the door without a slightest, slightest striding. striding sound. He only eats the flattest meals and then he whispers kitten treats. He once was fat, but now my cat is totally completely flat. He got a slim, so flat and trim the day on my great day. The day my great Dane sat on him. The, the day my great Dane sat on him. Hi. Hi, my name is Liam. And I'm going to be reading the poem, Homework, Homework Stew. I cooked, cooked my math book in a broth and stirred it to a stream broth. I threw papers, I mean, I threw in papers, pencils too, to make us a, a pot of my homework, of homework stew. I turned the flame up nice and hot and tossed my bender in the pot. I sprinkled in my book report with colored markers by the court. Despite its putrid, obnoxious gas, I proudly took my stew to class and thought the smell was so grotesque. grotesque. I set it on my teacher's desk. My teacher said, you're quite a chef but still you're going to get an F. I didn't ask for my for homework still. I said tomorrow homework still. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bobby and I'm gonna read My Shadow by Robert Louis Stevenson. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me 
and what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me, from the heels up to the head, and I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow, not at all like proper children, which is always very slow, for sometimes he shoots up taller like a Indiana rubber ball, rubber ball, and sometimes gets so little that there's none of him at all. All right. I'm Luchi, and I'm going to be um, reading The Experiment by Ken Nesbitt. The teacher performed an experiment she probably shouldn't have tried. Some chemicals flashed and exploded. She ended, she ended up frazzled and fried. Her, eye, her eyebrows were sizzling and smoking. Her clothing was covered with soot. She looked like a cartoon coyote whose cannon had just gone kaboot. Um, but something astonishing happened. As soon as her test went uh, awry. awry, the teacher was caught by the shockwave, and so was her hamster nearby. The, univer the universe inside the blast zone was literally rearranged, affecting the teacher and the hamster, and somehow their brains were exchanged. The hamster climbed up near the bl blackboard and handed out homework galore. The teacher, by contra contrast, was squeaking and crawling on the floor. Um, an instant he, lear he learned of the news, the hamster said, Welcome, please, please join us. Our teacher was sni sniffing his shoes. I'm sorry to say our poor teacher now sits in a cage eating grass. The, the principal made her our pet, and now the hamster's in charge of the class. Hi, my name is Nolan, and today I will be reading the poem, Blowing Bubbles. Of all the things that babies love to help them in their troubles, there's nothing in the world they think so nice as blowing bubbles. To dip the pipe along the suds and then to gravely blow to watch the lovely colors change as fast as the bubbles grow. To throw them softly in the air and see them sail away. Is it fun enough for girl or boy to fill the longest day? Sweet children of our tender love may all life's bubbles be as bright with tints of rosy hope as these which we now see. Hi, I'm Colin and today I'm going to be reading Our Teachers a Football Fanatic by Ken Nesbitt. Our Teachers a Football Fanatic. It's all that he has on his mind. He listens to games on his headphones and frets when his team is behind. He jumps up and down with their winning. He screams when they fumble the pass. And we n know we're supposed to be reading, but watching him is simply a guess. Our principal walked in on Friday, and he was angry to speak. Our substitute started Monday. Our teacher was bent for a week. I'm Jacob, and I'm reading football on TV. The football games is on TV. The chips are in the bowl. We are totally excited and about to lose control. Our living room has turned into a huge chaotic scene. We're madly jumping up and down. We're screaming at the screen. My mom and dad are yelling while my baby brother wheels. My sister's sitting on this, chewing on her nails. I'm running all around the room as if I lost control. My mind is not told, is, it's not, because our team's ahead, it's not that they're behind. 
the reason that we're shouting and we're running, we're running all about it. That is that the video game that the game was tied. Then the internet went out. <laughs> I'm Noah, and I'm reading a poem because I stuck my finger up my nose. I stuck my finger up my nose to see what it contained. I found a bunch of crazy things that could not be explained. I found a dozen rubber bands. I found a piece of string. I found my missing basketball. I found a playground swing. I found a giant pot of gold. I found a sailing boat. I found an ancient castle with a drawbridge and a moat. I found a hairy mastodon, I found a purple cow. I found a earthbound starship from a not too distant star. But despite, but not despite the awesome stuff, I found inside my snout. I wish I never poked in there because now my finger will come out. Hi, I'm Nate and I'll be reading Our Teacher Likes Minecraft. Our, our teacher likes Minecraft, she plays it all day. She tells us to study she, so she can go play. She'll dig in her mind, going deeper and deeper, then fight off a skeleton, zombie, or creeper. She'll engineer buildings from dirt, wood, or s and stone, then go out exploring the landscape alone. She'll build and collect, and she'll run, jump, and s swing. There's only one problem, we don't learn a thing. My name is Joshua, and I have a power in here. Back up a little bit. I made myself a snowball as perfect as I could be. I thought uh, I'd keep as as a pet and sleep with me. I made with. I made it from pajamas and I and a pillow for its head. And last, the last night it ran away. The last night it ran away. But first, it wet the bed. The end. I'm Danny, and I'm reading Santa got st stuck in my chimney. Poor Santa got stuck in our chimney. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. His feet made it down, but his belly was one size too large for the flu. His reminder are up. Reindeer. His reindeer are up on the rooftop, and... And his sleigh is loaded with toys. And Santa, that kindly old fella, is making a whole lot of noise. We called the police and the sheriff. We sewed them, we sewed them up with ladders and cranes and bought all of the winches, winches and pool and pulley plus bungee cords, cables and chains. There working right now to remove him. His... By hoisting. His... By... Hoist, hoist, hoisting. Hoisting him slowly back out. It might take it all morning for Santa. It is more than a little bit south. If you don't have any presents this morning, we're sorry you might have to wait, but Santa's still stuck in our chimney. He, it might, he may be a day or two late. Until then, please hide all your cookies to Santa. May find his serve at least, then he'll find down the chimney, fit down the chimney when he comes on Christmas next year. Hi, I'm Mia, and I'm reading My Dog Likes to Disco by Ken Nesbitt. 
My dog likes to disco on TikTok for fun. He'd rather start dancing than go for a run. My dog likes to wiggle and jiggle and jump. He wobbles his noggin and wriggles his rump. And when he's done dancing, this doggy of mine will pick up his cell phone and post it online. He puts up a video once every day so people can watch as he wiggles away. He started on TikTok for something to do, and now he's on YouTube and Instagram too. He's trending on Twitter and Facebook as well. I guess that I should have been able to tell. You see, when I rescued my dog from the pound, the sign said... Purebred. Purebred social media hound. I'm Molly and I'm reading The Pet Store by Ken Nelbert. Well, while shopping at the pet store, I got my finest wish. I bought myself a fishbowl and then a pair of fish. And since I was already out shopping at the store, I thought I ought to purchase another smid more. So I got a rabbit, a hamster, a frog, a gobble, a turtle, a parrot, a dog. I purchased a iguana, a tortoise, a rat, an eight-foot anaconda, a monkey, a cat, a guinea pig, a gecko, a ferret, a mouse, and I had them all delivered directly to my house. Next page. My sister went bizarro. Now she's in stone locks because I said her bedroom would be their little box. Hi, I'm Miss Lane, and I'm going to read nicknames. <clears throat> my aunt calls me Elizabeth, my grandma calls me Liz, my sister calls me Lisa, and the baby calls me Liz. My uncle calls me Betty, while my, while my grandma calls me Beth. My, my brother calls me Dizzy Liz, or sometimes Lizard Breath. My teacher calls me Betsy, and my friends all call me Beth. I'd find these nicknames more annoying than you'd ever guess. I wish that they would call me by my real name instead. I simply don't like those nicknames. See, my real name is Fred. Hello? I'm Sahil. I, the purple cow. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one, but I can tell you anyhow. I'd rather see them be by one. Be one. Hi, I'm going to read a poem that I wrote about summer. Summer is beaches, walking barefoot, fast pitches, playing baseball, cool pools, swimming all day, summer camps, catching new fireflies, shady trees, reading great books, hot paved black pavement, running to the cool white lines, freeze pops, dashing through the cold sprinkler, vacation day trips, spending a lot of time with your family, relaxing to get ready for fourth grade. I love summer and I hope you do too. Hi, I'm Cindy Raymond, Jack's mom, and I wanted to share a poem by F. Scott Fitzgerald. For what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit, stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. And I hope you see things that startle you. I hope you feel things you never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life you're proud of. If you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Hatton, and I hope that you have enjoyed your class's Poetry Cafe and had a few little surprises with some guest poems. 
And I would like to end this event with a poem about books. Books by Helen H. Moore. If you read a few, then you'll know it's true. Books are good for you. Chefs read cookbooks. Pirates hook books. Little kids read lift and look books. We read books of poems and prose. Some of these and some of those. Read some too and you'll agree. Books are good for you and me.